Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to show you today how to use a font called Bohema Spirit. Uh, this is Bohema Spirit right here. It's one of my absolute favorite fonts. This is by a designer called Black Cats Media. I'm going to link this font in the description, but I would recommend also checking out the rest of her shop. She is an absolute pro. I love her fonts. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. If you haven't already, subscribe now. I am coming out with new videos once every four or five days. Just a lot of ways to make you a better designer, whether that be in design space or externally in programs like Inkscape um, that will help you bridge some of the design gaps in design space. So subscribe now and you'll get a notification when the new videos come out. Also join me on Facebook. We have... Uh, fantastic, super helpful, super friendly, super knowledgeable group. Pretty big, about 110,000 people. Um, Cricket and Silhouette for Beginners. I will link that in the description as well. Make sure you join us. You'll love it there. So what we are going to do today is we are going to use font glyphs. Font glyphs are extras that many font designers add to fonts today, um, often decorative characters. So um, let me just address this before we go any further. I do not recommend doing your font work in design space. Design space has a kerning error, which is letter spacing and alignment. Um, some people will tell you to ungroup and manually move your letters to fix that or to change the letter spacing to fix it. It's not the right way. It's going to give you uneven at best results. Check out my kerning video that will show you the correct way to work around the kerning issue um, and teach you how to get perfect text work every time. For ease of use so that I'm not teaching you two skills in one video, we are going to do the text work in design space for this video. Don't recommend it. Like I said, check out that video. So let's go ahead and get started. When you're using this font, you want to type out all of the letters in the font except for the first letter and the last letter. So and you can see what I'm talking about, about the letter, the kerning error. So um, another thing before we go any further, when you install this font, there's going to be two fonts that you download. One will be Bohema Spirit, which is the script and the heads and tails of the arrows. The other will be Bohema Ornaments, which is the um, the feathers and the hangers. There's a whole bunch of neat ornaments in there to decorate your text after you have it set up. So um, because we are working with text in design space, let's go ahead and ungroup this and move these letters closer so that it's not too terrible. So much easier and the text looks so much better when you set it up externally you can see how i'm kind of guessing and there's gaps and just trust me and go check out that video it'll absolutely change your text work Okay. So now we're going to select all of these and we are going to weld them together. And now let me show you how to access glyphs. So um, I'm working on Windows 10. I will link in the description if you're working on a Mac or an iOS device how to access glyphs in those two devices. Um, you're still going to use the font the same way, but you'll access your glyphs differently. So in Windows 10, there's two ways. I'm going to show you two ways. One of them is there is a built-in character map in design or in Windows. Uh, I don't prefer that. It's not a very good character map. 
Um, I will show you another way in a second, but I do want you to at least know how to access this character map and how to use it. So to access the built-in character map, go to your search bar in the bottom left, type in CH and it'll come up. Anytime you're using a character map, you have to make sure that the font that the character map is set to is the same font that you have your design program sent to. If you import a glyph and it comes up with a square with a question mark in the middle of it, it means that this font is not the same as the font that your design program is set to. So just adjust that. Okay, so this one's already set. So to access the glyphs in um, the character map in Windows, built into Windows, this should be set to Unicode. This should be set to Unicode subrange. And this should be set to private use characters. And that will bring them all up. You can see they're fairly hard to read. Um, so just for the heck of it, I'll grab one and I'll show you how to use this. So click on it and then click select and then copy. And then text. And then you can't you used to be able to paste. You can't any longer now that design space has gone to desktop. Now you have to use control V. A little bit slow. And that is how you import a glyph. And honestly, you'll be surprised how many fonts today. You probably own a lot of fonts that have glyphs in them. If you've ever seen a font and it was all fancy and pretty looking, and then you bought it and you installed it and you went to use it and it wasn't so fancy looking, that's because there's glyphs that you can access and use. So let's get rid of that. And let's go to the UI character map. Now to locate, to, to get the UI character map, go to your search bar down here, type in Windows Play Store um, or Windows, just Windows Store, I guess it is. And in the Windows Store, you can download and install the app for, well, I guess you don't download and install it. You just all one, whatever, click it and it'll install. Um, but it's an app called UI character map. It's free. And it is much better than the built-in one. This is UI character map, okay? So Bohema Spirit. And now let's go to our use. And you can see how many there are. This is an absolutely fantastic font that everybody should own. Any designer out there should have this font. So this is the one I used. Now you're going to press plus and then copy. And again, pull up your text, control V, give you your U. We're going to have to resize this a little bit. So I'm going to pull up both ladder, or both the U and the E before we attach them. Um, and then go back to my character map and go to the E's. That's the one I used plus copy. Need to bring up a new text box, control V. And then we have both of them and I want to resize them together. So select both. And then resize. And again, when you're doing your text work externally, you don't have to do this. The text will automatically be the right size when you when you use glyphs. But that's it. So that is all there is to that part of it. Now, of course, if you're doing text work in Design Space, you need to select all of that and weld it together to make it one layer so that it'll cut correctly. Now let me show you how to get the feathers and the hangers and all of that. Those are going to be in uh, Bohema ornaments, which again, you also downloaded and installed when you installed the font. You'll need to do that. You'll need to install both. Okay. So because she has it set up where it's an actual, the ornaments, where it's an actual installable font, Super convenient because you can also then access all of the ornaments through the character map so you can see them all and easily access them. So again, so Bohemian ornaments, 
But what I need to do is then I need to, so Bohemian Ornaments, let me go ahead and select the one I want. And then let me see. So that's the one I want plus copy. And then I need to change this to Ornaments and control V. Give me just actually one second because let me go back to the character map and let me get rid of some of these. I think that it's going to, let me try again because so this is the one that I want. I'm going to copy that. Control V. And I am going to turn this. And then to build that hanger, super easy. Take a square and a circle. And the square unlock, turn it into a little string to hang it from. And take your circle and make that super small. It's a little smaller. Select these two. Align center and then weld those together. It's actually probably a little bit too long, but that's okay. Okay, and that's that. Now you can select all of this and weld all of that together. And then you can see I didn't. I probably should have moved this over here to make it exactly like this one. But then go back to your character map and get rid of a couple of these. And then the other hanger that I used is this one. Control V. In a moment and make that a little bit larger over here and then one more that was this one text control V And that is literally all there is to it. It's just, it's just a great font. Um, so select all of that and weld. And you can see how it's kind of um, a little bit thick right now. So to get a better idea of what it actually looks like, let me go ahead and flatten this to something. It'll always give you a clear, so now you can see better what it actually looks like. And that's how it would actually cut just looks a little bit thicker when it's set as a cut file. So that's it. That is literally all there is to using this font. It is such a fun font. Um, like I said, I will link it in the description. I will link the Facebook group. Join us. You'll love it there. It's such a friendly, helpful group. It's just a great spot. Um, but that's it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them below. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.